Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, uh, I will give you the buyer's guide for the 2023 Trek Domani SL6 ETEP road bike. And then at the end, I will give you my opinion, should you just go ahead and buy this bike or should you just consider this bike? So we can start with answering the question, who is this bike for? So you see, Trek Domani platform is an absolute legend when it comes to endurance road bikes. So if you are looking for a bit more relaxed geometry, a really smooth bike ride, and you are spending a long days in the saddle, then definitely you should check uh, Trek Domani platform for all the bikes they have there. Specifically, this 2023 Trek Domani SLC uh, ETEP has a retail price of uh, 5,300 US dollars. So definitely not a cheap bike, but when you look across the board from all other bike manufacturers on a similar built kind of quality and specifications, usually this is the reality of bike prices. They are going up year on year and this 5,300 US dollars, it is what it is. When you also look at the paint schemes on this bike, luckily Trek is offering two paint schemes. One is this, uh, again, beautiful crimson red, like a dark, me dark uh, metallic red with a hint of white. And then they also have another uh, pretty nice uh, paint scheme, which is so-called deep uh, dark blue, a very nice paint scheme. And in this case, I would probably go with this uh, deep uh, dark blue paint scheme. But again, luckily you have a choice of two paint schemes on offer. Again, considering the retail price of 5,300 US dollars for this uh, bike. Now we can dive into the specifications of this bike and we can really see uh, what do you get for your hard earned money. As always, we can kick off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So here you are getting a carbon fiber 500 series OCLV carbon fiber frame from Trek with their ISO speed decoupler. Of course, this uh, carbon frame has a 12 millimeter through axles front and the back. It is ready for the press fit bottom bracket and it also has a bit of internal storage on the down tube. I will just mention here that for this uh, fourth generation of the Trek Domani, uh, they have removed the front ISO speed and now you only have this ISO speed decoupler on the back. Long story short, um, ISO speed is kind of a patented solution from Trek where the seat tube can move independently of the top tube and the seat stays. And it is a very neat uh, solution and everybody who has ever ridden a Trek Domani bike can definitely confirm that it is still, in my opinion, uh, one of the most comfortable bikes on the market. So this is definitely a secret sauce of this bike. You see, uh, the fork on this bike, of course, is a Trek Domani's SL Carbon with the tapered carbon steerer fork, 12 mm through axles and also flat mount disc brakes. The good thing here is that you have fender mounts on this bike, uh, both, of course, on the carbon frame and the fork, which is great if you live in some rainy country, uh, you can mount the, f the fenders on this bike and ride the bike uh, whole season. I will just mention that Trek offers their lifetime warranty on uh, carbon frames and the forks, so definitely there should be no problems with it. And the quality control is pretty decent from Trek, so definitely these carbon frames and forks should work perfectly fine. I will just mention here that 500 series OCLV carbon is of course not a creme de la creme top of the line that Trek can do. They have their higher series of carbon like 700 series OCLV, 800 series OCLV, but then of course the, the price goes really wild. So this is the level of the carbon fiber you can get for this uh, 5,300 US dollars. Now let's talk about the wheel set on this bike. Uh, the wheel set is from Bond Traeger. It's a Bond Traeger Paradigm Comp 25 wheel set which is tubeless ready. And as I see here, uh, Trek will supply the <clears throat> tubeless tape, valves, everything ready. So you can just turn this wheel set easily into the tubeless wheel set. Of course, 12 millimeter through axles, both front and the back. And briefly looking at the specifications of this uh, wheel set, uh, some of the highlights include that it is a 
25 millimeters inner width of the rim. Also, it has the Von Traeger's rapid drive hubs, specifically rapid drive 54 hub at the back. And I will just mention here that it is a 23 millimeters <clears throat> rim height with 24 spokes, uh, both front and the back, specifically designed wheel set for the center lock disc brakes with 12 millimeter true axles. And when it comes to the weight of this uh, wheel set, uh, <clears throat> as I'm seeing, the front wheel is 825 grams and the rear wheel 955 grams. I forgot to mention here that this is a classical aluminium wheel set from Von Traeger with a total weight of about, let's call it 1,800 grams. So in my opinion, <clears throat> consider this wheel set as a proper workhorse. And once when you destroy this wheel set, you can definitely have a look at some of the Bond Traeger more advanced wheels if you really want or as I always suggest you have a look at DT Swiss wheels and see what they are offering in a certain uh, price bracket. Tires on these wheels again from Bond Traeger this is the Bond Traeger <clears throat> R3 tire tubeless ready of course 120 TPI tire and this is a 32 millimeter tire very nice that Trek has included 32 millimeter tires out of the box a uh, lot of air volume and it's really going to contribute to the smooth ride of this bike and even in the future i would suggest you to always keep minimum uh, tire width of 32 uh, millimeters of course the maximum tire size you can fit on this uh, carbon frame in the fork is 38 millimeters or if you are uh, using the fenders then it's going to drop to 35 millimeters now let's talk about the drivetrain on this bike so the <clears throat> shifters uh, front mech and the rear mech Everything is uh, SRAM rival ETAP access. So this is the 12 speed wireless group set uh, from SRAM. Absolutely is going to work perfectly fine. There's no complaints here from me. And everybody who has ridden this uh, fully wireless uh, SRAM rival ETAP usually loves it. And there shouldn't be any specific problems uh, with this. When you look at the, <coughs> when you look at the crank set on this uh, bike, it is, of course, the SRAM rival crank set, 46 uh, 33 chain rings with uh, SRAM's uh, dub uh, press fit uh, bottom bracket. And always, uh, in this case, uh, Trek is using a T47 uh, threaded system. So I'm not so sure how they combine this SRAM dub with T47 threaded system, but if that's the case then definitely this uh, threaded system of the of the bottom bracket is going to be easy to service and your local mechanic is definitely going to love it so that's a good thing here so there should definitely be no creaking noises because of this <clears throat> t47 threaded uh, system of the bottom bracket also when you look at the cassette and the chain on this bike the chain is the SRAM's rival 12 speed chain so they didn't cut corners here and also the cassette is the SRAM XG1250 cassette so it's a huge cassette 1036 cassette paired with the chain rings 46 33 chain rings so you have a huge gear spread huge gear ratio so definitely no problems in attacking any steep mountains i will just mention here that this cassette once when you need to replace it is a <coughs> bit of a pricey item and it can easily <coughs> it can easily cost you about 130 us dollars so that's so just keep that in mind and Definitely, I would suggest you to keep it with the SRAM cassette, whatever you choose, just because of the compatibility with the SRAM chain and the, and the rest of the group set. Now, some smaller components like the seat post and the saddle. <clears throat> the saddle comes from Bond Traeger, classical Bond Traeger verse saddle. If you like it, it's fine. If not, it's very easy to replace. So, since saddles are a personal preference, there's so many good saddles out there. And once when you locate your desired saddle, just keep on using it. When it comes to the seat post, I will mention here that uh, this track domain is using a carbon fiber seat post with a 20 millimeter offset. This is an excellent thing. As you know, in my opinion, every road bike today should come with a carbon fiber seat post just because it's going to soak up so much of the smaller road bumps. So this is definitely a good thing that Trek is including a carbon fiber seat post on this Domani bike. Now we look at the handlebar and the stem. Handlebar is the Bond Traeger Elite ISO Zone aluminum handlebar. Of course, there's going to be a different width of the handlebar in different sizes of the bike, but let's say for the sizes of 54 or 56, the width of the handlebar is 42 centimeters. And when you look at the stem, it is a Bond Traeger RCS Pro stem, which is again <coughs> aluminum stem from Bond Traeger. So now here I'm glad that both handlebar and the stem are separate pieces. Nothing is proprietary here. 
everything easy to service and replace and upgrade and of course these are aluminium pieces but in my opinion that is perfectly fine you shouldn't worry about that it is it is totally fine you might want to upgrade you know your handlebars in the future to a carbon fiber one but personally i just wouldn't bother with that now the braking system on the bike <clears throat> so the braking system is from sram uh, sram hydraulic disc brakes which are uh, uh, which come with the sram paceline rotors these are 160 millimeter rotors front and the back which again is uh, absolutely excellent so no cutting corners when it comes to the size of the braking rotors they're going to offer a great uh, heat dissipation and stopping power and also <clears throat> i'm sorry in the future i would advise you to keep the same size of the rotors and just because it's a SRAM hydraulic disc brakes also keep the SRAM paceline rotors because of the compatibility also i will mention here that uh, in the maximum rotor size you can fit on this bike is 160 millimeters both uh, front uh, and the back and as I mentioned, on the down tube of this bike, you have a bit of a storage, which is a very nice kind of storage area. You can fit some smaller tools or even some food. So that's very nice that they have designed it into the, <clears throat> into the down tube of the bike. Also, the track here claims that the total weight of this bike in size 56 is 8.9 kilograms. So if you add the pedals on this bike, probably we are speaking about 9.1, 9.2 kilograms out of the box. In my opinion, <clears throat> that's a perfectly fine bike weight for this uh, endurance road bike, which comes with the uh, Trek uh, ISO speed decoupler, uh, very basic uh, wheels from Bond Traeger, classical aluminum wheels, which on their own are you know, 1,900 grams. And of course, this wireless uh, SRAM ETEP group set uh, is a bit on the heavier side. So that's not the problem with this bike, but the big question is, uh, should you just go ahead and buy it or should you just consider it? Well, considering the retail price of 5,300 US dollars, I believe you should definitely consider this uh, bike. It's not one of the cheapest ones. And of course, 5,300 US dollars, it's a bit of a eye watering price. So I think this is going to be it for today. I hope you like what I'm doing. And if you do keep on watching, keep on liking. And as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers.